Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining us today. My name is Tara Bush, and I am going to be walking us through the 10th Street for Schools platform. So before we get started, I do have a few housekeeping rules just to let you know that this webinar is being recorded. You are not being recorded. It is me, so you can continue on with working um, as you listen. It will not disrupt the presentation. Um, for questions, you guys have the ability to submit questions in your control panel on your screen throughout um, the webinar at any time. I will attempt to answer all of those as we go through it, or we can get to those at the end. I also have a Q&A at the end of our presentation that I will go through as well. So again, my name is Tara Bush. I will be walking you through what the 10th Street Network is, how it works, how we came up with this, and what problem we're trying to solve for you guys today. So a little bit about 10th Street before we get started. For those of you that are not familiar with who we are um, or what we do in this industry, um, we've been around since 2006. We are um, a SaaS company. We are a driver management system. So we work with a little over 1,600 carriers today, um, a lot of those with who you guys work with as well, to help recruit, manage, um, and onboard their drivers. We also have a marketing and safety platform that helps with those processes as well. So we are a transportation-focused industry. Um, compliance is a really big thing for us, and so we try to focus on compliance in all different areas, the online application, the dashboard, the reporting, um, different things like that. We do have a little over 3,000 network providers, and some of you may actually be familiar with what that is. So um, we do have an exchange platform that allows for you guys to do employment verifications to request and provide to other um, carriers or to other companies through our system. We hold today about 40% of all um, verification information in today's industry, so we are the largest verification network out there in today's market. Um, if you are not familiar with our exchange platform, it is free to be a part of as well, um, and so there's no no tedious setup. Um, just send us some information on um, you, that you would like to get set up, and we'll get that taken care of for you. But again, that allows for you to request and respond to all verifications directly through that platform. So no more back and forth with that fax machine. We have processed a little over 13 million Intella apps. Yes, 13 million Intella apps. Intella apps are our version of the application, which we're going to walk through one today. Um, and I'm going to show you the biggest differentiators in our application compared to any other application that you may be familiar with or um, that you work with today currently on your website or internally. We have processed um, those 13 million from a little over 3.5 million individual drivers. So we hold about two thirds of industry's drivers in our system, which allows for them to access their information quickly and easily and pre-populate that application like we're gonna see today as well. We do have a lot of integration partnerships that we work with, so background providers, payroll, dispatch. Um, we're really um, excited to announce integrations as they come, and we're really honored to be a part of all of that as well. And as I said earlier, DOT and FMCSA compliance, that is one of our main focuses within this industry because it is so important and because the repercussions um, can be so cost um, effective to you guys. So you have probably received the email or the notification, but if not, um, I do want to announce the partnership between 10th Street and the National Association of the Publicly Funded Truck Driving Schools Organization. Um, I am honored to be a part of it. I'm excited to begin this partnership. I will be in Savannah, Georgia here in a couple of weeks to have a booth to go through this and talk with you all um, again about what 10th Street is and what we do um, and how we can help industries like you guys as schools to better streamline your process with your carriers. So again, thank you to the NAP FTDS. We are very excited to be a partner with you. So before we dive into the demo itself, um, you know, really what the pain point is that you guys may experience um, is going to be a lot of back and forth, miscommunication, pushing documents, whether that's via fax, via email. Um, so we wanna try to streamline that and take out as much of the tedious um, pieces of that as we can. So student drivers and trucking schools have long needed an automated mechanism um, just to easily send those applications and to communicate with your motor carriers. 
So drivers will spend an excessive amount of time and effort manually completing multiple applications, while the average trucking school is often inundated um, with managing paper and serving as a liaison. So as well as with the carriers, um, as well as the carriers are also burdened with the time intensive task of tracking requests, responding to schools, responding to drivers, hiring and finally onboarding newly qualified drivers. So that can also take quite a bit of time as well. So fortunately for everyone, Tenstree has removed these pains for the driver. They have removed the pains for the trucking school and for the carrier. So leveraging the 10 Street School Network, student drivers can simply complete one application for the school, and the number, excuse me, as the number of applications increase due to the ease and the speed of the completion, um, thanks to our pre-population feature, which we'll see here, um, to do a school's placement rate, they will definitely go up, as well as carrier applications will then convert over from there. Um, so we will also show you um, within the dashboard because it does feature a transfer driver report, which is a real-time school and carrier applicant communication channel. Um, so it's the ability for carriers to automatically send pre-hire and denial letters in a matter of seconds, as well as notifications, um, messaging, um, and so it's, it's an entire back and forth channel for you guys to have in one centralized location. So this is just a quick view of the application, which again, we're going to dive a little bit into here in just a second for you guys to see that. Um, every application will be different based on you as a school. They're all customizable um, to your needs and the way that you want them to phrase certain questions. Now when we get into the dashboard, I'm going to show you how you can transfer your applications to your different carriers. This is another pain point that I'm sure you guys experience a lot of times when your student has graduated and he's ready to move on. It can be very time consuming um, on your end to help him kind of guide through and walk through the different applications with those carriers. Or um, it's a lot of time on your, your end for you to take the driver information, send that application over via fax, email, um, to all of the different carriers that you work with as well. So it's going to be simple. The list of your carriers that you work with, um, once approved, we will have them built into your 10th Street dashboard where all you have to do is hit a transfer button to send the application over to that carrier for that driver's application. We'll look at a live version here in just a second. Um, this report's a little hard to read. I apologize. We'll see the real report as well here in a minute, but the driver status reporting is going to populate all of the drivers that you have transferred over to those different carriers, even if they're outside of 10th Street, which I'll elaborate on here in a bit. It's going to show you the date and the time that you transferred that app, the social name and um, first name and last name of your driver, the carrier that you had sent the application to, and then the status and the additional information to the right. If they are a 10th Street client, you will have what we call common statuses that allow for you to see at what stage within that hiring process is your student in? Did they get scheduled for orientation? Are they approved? Are they hired? Is there dates associated to hired and orientation? And those will pre-populate into those reports for you as well. If they are not a 10th Street client, they will still pull up on this report that you see, but as, um, as they get to the carrier status and over to the right again, there will be no information there just because there's nothing to pull from the system. So here is a look um, at a live report of what it would be for transfer drivers over to your different carriers and the tracking that is involved with that. So in addition, schools and carriers will be able to easily communicate, as I mentioned earlier, with that communication portal. So it keeps a historic log of all of your messaging for future references. Schools will also be able to see when a driver has been offered a position with a shared access to carriers pre-hire letters that they've sent to drivers. So along with that, the ability to receive applications from schools and communicate directly with schools through the communication portal, carriers can clearly benefit from the inundation of CDL carrying drivers who are ready to fill those empty trucks and hit the road running. Drivers also gain efficiencies in um, that their digital applications can now be transferred back and forth, um, and they also have an app that they can track the hiring progress um, within that app as well with those carriers. 
So this is just a view of those pre-hire offer letters, again, that the carriers can send directly over to you, that you can then print them out, email them, store them if you would like. They store within your documents section for those drivers or those students. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and walk through the demo dashboard with you guys. You can see it for yourself of exactly how this works. And then we'll come back and we'll follow up with some questions that you may have. All right, so again, this is just a template of the online application. You guys will customize this app um, for each of your organizations. You will have your logo of your school up in the top left corner, your company information over here in the right hand corner. We can even customize, customize a little bit of the information below to talk about who you are, where you are. It gives your students a little better idea of you know, who they're applying to. Requirements must be of 18 years of age, no felony convictions, um, et cetera. This is gonna be the basic information on your student. Now keep in mind that more than likely they have not applied to a carrier at this point. So pre-population more than likely will not be an option. So they're gonna go ahead and do a full app to your school um, completely from beginning to finish. But then when they move on to those different carriers, um, due to the fact that we do work with over 1,600 carriers and 70% of those are on the top 250 list, which a lot of you guys work with, they will have that pre-population capability. To give a little better idea of that, of how often that happens, um, since we do have over two-thirds of the industry, then 83% of the time the carriers will receive a pre-populated application. So once I get my social in and my date of birth, you're going to notice a box pop in that says, do you want to autofill? So since I have done one of these before, this is what it's going to look like for your students as they apply. So in this case, I have 82% of my application already done. I'm going to go ahead and click Yes, Autofill. Now keep in mind, I can go back in and edit or update this information if I need to. It's not set in stone. So um, once we have completed the application for you, you will have this link, um, and you are free to do with that link as you wish. Place it on your website. Send it in a text. Send it in an email. Um, advertise with it. Post it on those different areas, and draw those students in to do this application for you. Custom questions, you guys can ask as many or as little custom questions as you would like in any types of formats. Yes, no's, multiple choice, um, fill in the blanks, it's up to you. License information, pretty straightforward. If it's invalid or expired, they delete it and add additional licenses if they need to. Employment history. Now, you all are probably very familiar with the long process of adding in employment history. I myself have sat in on an orientation class at a school, and I have watched um, students struggle with putting in information. However, once they complete it one time, again, it's going to pre-populate every single time they do an application. So all they have to do is go in and ed edit or update the missing information from that previous company that they were at. The rest of it is there for them to pull from. So I'm going to show you what that'll look like. Most carriers will ask for a certain number of years of experience. You can ask um, however many years you want to make a requirement as well. If there's a gap in their employment history um, based on the requirements that you have set, so three years of requirement um, and I'm missing some months, it'll say in big red letters, date gap. So I know exactly as um, the candidate that's applying where I need to go back and fill in those blanks. So if you go to add a history item, you are given one of the five options, employment and unemployment, school, driving school, or military. I'm going to select that unemployment option or that employment option, and I'm going to start typing in the name of a company. Now, the majority of them are transportation industries, um, but we do have a little over 46,000 companies within our database for those candidates to pull from. So as they get more experience under their belt, it will make it easier and easier for them to pick and choose. When I do so, the information below, such as that address, city, state, phone number, and zip, will go ahead and pre-populate for me. So I'm not having to go off to a separate tab or device, copy and paste, or look back and forth to put in that information. I just have to focus on my start date, end date questions, the yes and no's at the bottom, and then I can move forward. I've completed 100% of the requirements that you've given me. I can stay and add more entries if I choose. 
motor vehicle records. I'm just going to go through and click no. Accident and incident information, if they click yes, we'll call, capture all of the metrics of those for you. Criminal questions. And that is everything. That is your entire application for your student. Now they can go through and make sure all of the information is accurate and correct, change it if they need to. And at the bottom of the app, you're going to get a digital signature. This can be done from any device, finger, stylus, mouse, or a touchpad. Again, so an application can be completed from any device as well. It doesn't limit them to a computer um, or a laptop. At the end of your application, if you as a school run releases for verifications, backgrounds, um, things like that, we can go ahead and put those acknowledgments and releases on the back end of your application. So I'm going to go ahead and go through here and check the boxes and acknowledging these. If you do not run these reports, that's fine. We would just remove the ones that don't pertain to your organization. Now, as I talk a little bit more about the different tiers that are offered, um, in tier two and three, we do have integrations with background providers such as HireRight, Assurance, IIX. Um, about 10 different ones total. So if you're running backgrounds um, and you use one of those those companies, we will do the integration for you and you will be able to, to run those and request those directly through our platform. You will no longer have to go off to their website um, to log in, type in your student info and upload that release. You will do it all through our platform with a click of a button. So this final screen here, I'm just going to verify it's still me. I'm not a robot, so I'm going to put in my social and date of birth one last time. And then right below, I can opt in to send myself a copy to my personal email. So if you wanted to call to go over my applicant, I can easily follow along. And then one more signature down here at the bottom. This signature are for the releases that we just agreed to. And that is everything. That's You get a confirmation page, a little bit of customization for you you guys and that is all for your student that application will then route into your 10th street dashboard and you can begin processing from there now again if some of you do not have websites or you don't have applications on your websites that's okay this application can be done um, maybe in-house from a um, tablet or a, a desk computer that you guys might have or can send it to them in a text or an email to complete the application over their phone but again, you can also embed this into your current website that you have. So now we're going to be looking into the dashboard. What happens to that application once that student has submitted it? And then what do I do next? So we will set up users. Are over here on the left-hand side under your reminders box. The names within the gray boxes will be your usernames within your organization. You can have as many users as you would like. Underneath each username is going to be an assigned task, application, document to view, a reminder that you set for yourself or that someone else has set for you, but everything is a hyperlink. So when I click on that, it will take me directly over to that student and their information. So I'm going to go um, a little further down here. Search, quick search, pretty basic and straightforward. You have advanced search options up here in the, in the top that you can search on. Recent subjects that you've viewed recent reports that you've ran, and recent tools that you've looked at in and out of the system. Phone app is another option. If you have students coming in and you would like to do um, you know, some quick information or if they're having a hard time getting the mobile application to work, then you can quickly type in some information with that phone app. It's a blank internal form. So Tara, as my student, all of her basic contact information is right up here in the top. Now with tier two and three, you have the option to send text messaging back and forth throughout the system. It's a great way to communicate back and forth with your students as you're waiting for them to come on site. Um, over here on the right-hand side, you have statuses. Now statuses are completely customizable for you. New and reapply are some standard statuses that we set up for you, but the next step may be attempting contact or maybe approved, financing approved, ready for processing, or even graduated. So you just will name your statuses to what makes the most sense for you and what your current workflow is. It helps you see at a glance um, where they're at. You can run reporting on this um, and different things like that. The application from that student is right below. If I want to print it, I'm more than welcome to do so. Now, 
if I have um, approved a student and they are in school and they are about to graduate and it's time to move them on to those carriers, I'm going to show you how easy it is to go ahead and do that transfer. So I'm going to click on my transfer application. And again, a list of the carriers that I have selected to send applications to will be in this drop down. If they are not a 10th Street carrier, you still have the ability to send that application through the system here. It's just going to be done on a different tab, and I'll show you that here in it. And if you're looking for the names of the carriers that we, we work with, um, if you'll just send me an email separately, um, the best way to do that is just send me a list of who you work with and I will let you know um, out of those of who you guys have access to send to. So the, again, company name is going to be over here on the left. If you've transferred them already, it'll have yes. Most of the time it'll say no if this is your first time doing that transfer. But all you need to do is click the Send Application button and you're done. So you can send it as many times as you would like throughout this, this area here. Now, if you've sent this application over um, and you would like to send a note with it, so someone at 10th Street Demo Company um, would receive the application and they would see a note to go along with it from you. You could come in here and add a note, select the company that you're wanting it to send to, select the user within that company that you would like to receive that note, and type that note right in here. If you want to have a follow-up date to remind you, you can set up an action date as well. When they respond back, it'll alert you. You'll get a notification up in your top left corner that they've responded, and it's like an instant messenger system between the two systems with you and that carrier. Notes are pretty straightforward. These are internal electronic sticky notes. Students do not see these. Carriers do not see these. These are for your internal um, employees for you guys to be able to view those conversations, thoughts, next steps, um, things like that, financing information. Documents, if you house and store documentation on your students, if you want all of their training um, documents to store within the platform, you can upload those or you can send those electronically through here. That is the part of the tier two and three platform as well. Um, the application itself will store within here. If you run background checks or employment verifications, those will also push right back into this system. No scanning needs to be done. Um, so everything tries to use it like an electronic filing cabinet, essentially. You will create your categories and you will create your types of documents that you want to house within the system. To add a new document, you just select the next tab over. If there's an expiration date, that is associated to this document, you can type that in here as well and have a report to run to show you when that expiration date is coming up. Underneath the process tab, there's several things in here. If you are integrated with the background provider, you will be able to come in here and just add the process and select background check and hit run and it will go ahead and send that request over to your background provider. Um, I'm gonna just mainly focus on the tier one today um, but just know that Tier 2 and 3 are advanced options, and we have that ability to do so. This is where you would go in and send your student information and application over to a carrier that is, in, that is not a part of 10th Street. So you would just have those emails built into our system of who you typically work with, um, and we would be able to select that and send it to that preferred carrier that you're choosing. Exchange is another portion um, of the platform within Tier 2 and 3 as well. Now, if you're running employment verifications, again, we are the largest employment verification network in today's market. So if you were looking to run employment history, a list of those employers that that driver listed on his app or that student listed on their app will be here. You can go through and acknowledge that the updated release is on file. And if it is, it will go ahead and automatically check that employment date for you or you can come in here and just manually select those as well. You'll just click the big green button and it will automatically send those requests off for you to, um, to request for those different um, companies. You will have an entire tracking platform within your system underneath the Exchange tab that allows you to view all of your pending requests that you've not heard back on, um, sent and received, how many attempts you've made, and if you need to provide or authorize responses to other companies on your students from different carriers or organizations, you will do it through this platform as well. So some of the more advanced um, options include additional tagging, marketing on the back end, 
Um, there's a lot of functionality within the system, so I'm going to go ahead and come back over to our question and answer section so we can get through those. Um, and again, if you would like for me to do a one-on-one -on -one demo with you guys um, and go deeper into basically how it would fit for your organization specifically, I would love to do that with you. All right, so just a solution and summary overview of what we just looked at. Application capture, we're gonna help you capture that student's information. That way when they do graduate and move on to those different carriers, um, their application will do that pre-population for them. You will have the ability to do that transfer electronically directly through our platform. No more fax machine or emails, scanning and uploading, or phone calls to try to figure out what, where are they at, what stage are they at. Um, you have that reporting tool built in. So they will be able to let you know when they receive that application. They will send you those pre-hire offer letters, messaging, and the reporting tools that are built into that. So let's just talk about kind of what the tiers are. 10th Street for Schools is available to all schools and driver training programs and three service tiers. Um, you will notice the little flashing free. Um, tier one is free to all NAPS TDS members. Um, if, if you are a 10th Street or if you are a carrier on this webinar today um, and you are not a 10th Street client, you also get a, de um, a discount in services because you are an NAPS CDS member as well. Tier 1 includes application transfer, pre hire letters, a driver status management tool, that's the report we looked at, um, and school to carrier messaging that allows carriers and schools to discuss subjects in real time. Tier two adds the ability to run employment verifications on our exchange engine to accelerate that BOE process, subject and location tagging to help in reporting, basic workflow functionality, essentially texting, um, the ability to receive partial applications, the ability to update a student application on their behalf and send them a read-only version to sign off and approve the changes that you made, custom report building. Um, there's a lot of things within that tier two to help you guys with that basic workflow. Tier three includes both tiers one and two and adds on the ability for drip marketing services, automated email communications with your drivers, the ability to send all of your orientation forms electronically and document completion for easy onboarding for you guys and your students. Um, it is developed for a more complex, customized workflow. So we went over the exchange providing, um, essentially of what it's doing. It is free to be a part of our exchange network. If you're interested in being a part of that, please let me know. When you get set up as the school network, we automatically go ahead and put you into that exchange providing unless you opt out of that. So you do have that ease and that functionality of going in and doing those providing um, through that platform. All right, it's Q&A time. So I'm gonna go through these quickly. Um, if you have any other questions, please let me know. Does the trucking school transfer DOT compliant applications? The school specific Intel app is treated um, by most carriers as a lead app. Um, it does not include signatures or end releases. It will include the license, employment, and accident and violation history, um, but the signatures are not included. So the students will do the carrier application and do their signatures that are pertinent to that carrier that they're um, applying to. So once the carrier is interested in moving forward with the student, the carrier would then send the driver a link to their company to apply. We also give you guys a free drip campaign and a landing page to help expedite that process. It already has your carrier's applications built into those links. Is there a limit to the number of carriers or schools um, that I can be linked to? No, there's no limit. If I'm working with a carrier or a trucking school that is not a 10th Street client, how do we connect them with 10th Street? That's a great question. So give, them the, um, give us the name of the carrier or school that you wish to work with um, or reach out to them and let them know and we can, you can make an introduction for us both. Um, I'm more than happy to reach out to them to make my own introduction and kind of just give them the information that we went through today and what our goals are. Um, you can give them my personal number, 918-698-8272 or my email, which will be on this next screen here, tara.bush at 10 streetcom all right. Well, I will be sending out all of this information to you guys in a follow-up email. Um, I hope that I was able to answer all of your questions and show you the value of having the 10th Street carriers um, or having carriers and schools 
connect together through the 10th Street platform. Again, I will be in Savannah, Georgia um, in the upcoming weeks to go through this and to help answer any other questions that you think of. I can help guys um, get you guys signed up right then and there if you guys want to give it a try. Again, Tier 1 is completely free. It is not a trial. It is just free. So I highly encourage you to take um, advantage of this offer and see what we can do for you. See if we can't help expedite and streamline that process for you guys and get those students hired. So I, again, thank you for your time today. I look forward to seeing you guys in Savannah and working with you all. Um, if you have any other questions or concerns that come up in the future, just give me a contact um, and I will reach out to you directly. So again, thank you for your time um, and have a great rest of your week.